That's a busted fire hydrant in downtown San Diego, and it said water gushing into people's homes. This happened at the corner of 11th and Island early this morning. Yeah, and in some cases, the damage is so bad, families have to find another place to stay tonight. Ooh, well, this is what... Workers only needed a few minutes to know Rachel Kiefer's apartment is in pretty bad shape. I was at work and I got a phone call from my landlord saying that the smoke detector was going off and so I rushed home to go ahead and turn that off and when I did I wasn't anticipating seeing the water damage that was in here. Water leaking from the ceiling and even the vents. Obviously you can't stay here. Our bed is soaked and it's not inhabitable. The bedroom definitely getting the worst of it. Yeah, if you look up, I can't believe that. You can see the, the water, all the ceiling, the walls. And even though most of her stuff is now wet, one important thing stayed dry. Yeah. I know, no water damage on the wedding dress. <laughs> all of the water coming from a single fire hydrant, five stories down. Apparently, a moving truck crashed into it this morning and caused that geyser to erupt, affecting not only Kiefer, but dozens of others living here. Luckily, she tells us she opted for renter's insurance. Very, very glad. <laughs> but it'll likely be at least four to six weeks before she and her husband can stay here again. It's a Monday and not a fun thing to be dealing with the first day of the week. <laughs> Rachel was actually pretty good natured about all of that. And apparently this is the second time that same fire hydrant has been busted open. Back in February, someone hit it, but that time the water was flowing out towards the street. All right, chaos.